Uh, inside the chamber, you've certainly got to work a lot harder than uh, what you do outside the chamber. It, um, yeah, it really makes you feel you know, like you are working harder, which means I guess you can work for uh, less time, you know, do 20 minutes instead of an hour. Normally outside the room riding, uh, I'd sort of get to about 140, um, you know, the heart rate. Uh, inside the room, you know, it sort of peaks at 150, 155. So, yeah, it's certainly elevated within uh, inside the room. Um, my oxygen saturation outside the room also is, you know, pretty much normal at 99%. Um, whereas in the room, sort of after about five or six minutes, I can get the, my blood saturation, oxygen saturation uh, down to around about, you know, between 82 and 85%, which is, uh, I guess, the ideal workout uh, level for the altitude room. For me as a cyclist, it, uh, the one thing that I notice is being back out on the road, you know, outside of the chamber, is uh, that I can sprint for a lot longer. So my, um, I guess, time to my legs, you know, the lactic burn, is a lot longer, uh, which has been good for sprinting. You can always uh, sprint a lot better. It means you can do hill climbs a lot better as well. So, yeah, that's one of the key benefits for me as a cyclist. Um, I guess also the endurance. You know, the more you work out inside the altitude room at you know a higher altitude, it gives you more endurance. So, yeah, you can ride for longer with uh, you know I guess less effort. So yeah, it's good. I'm going to try and work out uh, inside the chamber at least 40 minutes three times a week so for me I think that's you know probably a good good time I think anywhere between two sessions and uh, you know four sessions a week is pretty good you know from that half an hour to an hour mark really if you if you want to go pretty hard but um, for me it's good to do about 40 minutes um, you know two to three times a week well I've got a history of triathlon and I've always done long distance uh, uh, runs and rides and so I ended up going to Hawaii and doing Hawaii Ironman, which was a great experience. And uh, got second at the Nationals for half Ironman. And, uh, you know, to get those results, I've been travelling down to the Snowies, uh, Charlotte's Pass, the highest village in Australia, and then running to Kosciuszko and doing lots of work up there. And then uh, finding out about Attila's room's just been sensational because I, I also use AltiPower, which is a breathing device to uh, stimulate uh, extra haemoglobin. And uh, the system he's got here is state of the art. Uh, you know, it's top secret in East Germany 10 years ago, and for me to be here using it is just phenomenal. And uh, I can only see big results coming ahead. And last year I broke the world record for 30 spin classes in a row. And uh, that training wasn't quite there, but I did a lot of altitude for that. And uh, I'd like to try and break that again and uh, promote the gym in the process because I really believe this altitude room can take me to a new level. Um, and I can smash that world record and uh, hopefully go to Hawaii again and get a really big result. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm training here at TBC. Uh, I've been training here for about six weeks and we're here to test out the altitude room. Uh, as I went in, my heart rate was low and my oxygen was high. As I went in, the oxygen went low and my heart rate went high. So the effects were really good on me. Um, I dehydrated really quickly, so I had to keep the water intake and the training was twice the effort, but twice the results. I love it, excellent. Inside the room is a lot more harder, a lot more intense workout um, in a shorter period of time. Uh, I noticed my heart rate went up to 154 and my oxygen level went down to 80. So it was a lot more intense workout than what I would have done outside. 
I've been training at TBC now for six months. As soon as they put in the altitude room, it's been fantastic, great for my fitness level. Um, the hour that I used to do outside, um, I now cut the time in half an hour, so it's great, it's fantastic. I work twice as hard in a shorter period of time. I love it and I recommend it to anybody. Uh, well, outside the room, uh, my heart rate was sitting probably around, resting about between 70 and 80, and um, it definitely uh, sort of started to to gradually pick up inside the room and I think it was sort of up around about either uh, 115, 120 mark and the oxygen saturation about 100 before I went in the room and it got down to around about 85. Once I got into the room it probably took me around about within the first five minutes there was definite, definitely a, a, a rapid drop from that 100 saturation to, um, to the 85 mark and that's, a, that's about where it stayed for the rest of the workout. Yeah, definitely. I think training inside the room, your exhaustion, um, well, you get you fatigue a lot quicker. Um, so it's yeah, it's, it's a lot harder, and I think you, you just at the end of the session feel a, bit more, a lot more drained, and definitely like you've had much harder workout. And I feel the benefit of that uh, training is during the effort and after the effort. That means after you train, the couple after, after you train, you keep that low uh, percentage of oxygen in your blood. And that means you burn much more calories even after training. So that means for those who want to lose some weight and burn calories without doing any effort. You train a little bit in the high altitude room and then you burn much more calories even afterwards for a couple of hours after the training. 1500 meters is a good starting point. You're uh, around about 18% oxygen. Um, sea level that's 21%. That's a good point to uh, start adaptation and then you can slowly rise up to two and a half thousand and you'll find your fitness levels will go pretty pretty well at that point and then you can even push all the way up to 4,000 and uh, at about 4,000 metres we're looking at about 15% uh, um, so by that time the body will have adapted really well and um, you'll be burning calories afterwards because your metabolic rate will be really high. Yep, with Kosciuszko you're looking at 2-2 two, two, um, which is high but because you're living and training at altitude um, it's, it's not the same thing as the altitude room where once you get out you're back to sea level and 21% oxygen so the advantage of the altitude room is that you can actually really push high and for elite athletes they can push as high as 7,000 metres uh, and um, you know the AIS doesn't have one of these units but um, uh, it's available right here so if you're an elite athlete uh, I would be here. Uh, I'm not an elite athlete but this is the place to be and uh, I'll be here this weekend doing eight hours and ten hours the following week and I'll keep building till I can do ten hours in one day. We take you into the room. We've preset the room so that the oxygen levels are lower. When you get in there your heart rate will go up and your blood levels will go down. This will elicit a change in your body and the response will be to have a much better metabolism. The result, you get twice the results in half the time. You cannot get this outside the room. At the Athens Olympics, 80% of athletes used high altitude training to improve their performances. It's actually good for anyone who wants to improve their endurance, power or speed, or anyone who just wants to generally get fit, especially weight loss clients. You'll get twice the workout for half the effort. You'll burn more calories for half the effort, you'll increase your VO2 max, you utilise your oxygen capacities, you will increase your lactate tolerance and uh, you'll just generally get a much more efficient workout.